in this module we are going to discuss the kingdom protista okay kingdom protista kingdom protista we have completed kingdom monera right so in this module we are going to discuss about kingdom protista and the word protista was given by haeckel okay it was haeckel who termed the kingdom protista okay haeckel given by haeckel the term was given by haeckel protista term was given by haeckel so in this kingdom okay, in kingdom protista which all organisms are grouped under this they are unicellular okay organisms known as unicellular and eukaryotic unicellular eukaryotic organisms unicellular eukaryotic organisms okay are grouped under this kingdom protista and many organisms of this kingdom protista they use appendages for movement like they use they use cilia they use cilia some organisms they use cilia for their movement some organisms they use whip like structure known as flagella whip like structure known as flagella okay in later part of this class we will discuss details about which organisms they undergo okay which organisms they use cilia for their movement and which organisms they use flagella for their movement okay and if we see their mode of nutrition mode of nutrition okay some organisms belonging to kingdom protista they show autotrophic mode of nutrition and some they show heterotrophic mode of nutrition so mode of nutrition basically is autotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic heterotrophic mode of nutrition okay autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition so here some organisms they use for their movement cilia and some they use flagella some they use flagella and if we see the mode of nutrition they are having autotrophic mode of nutrition as well as heterotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophic mode of nutrition okay we will take the brief brief classification of this organisms or kingdom protista to understand better to understand better okay if we see example okay they are unicellular unicellular algae or unicellular algae diatoms diatoms and protozoans and protozoans okay protozoans these are some of the unicellular organs unicellular organisms which come under kingdom protista okay if we see protozoans protozoans like euglena euglena amoeba amoeba and paramecium paramecium so these are the unicellular organisms which are placed under kingdom protista placed under kingdom protista so if we take the classification of this protista we will understand better so now i am going to explain you with the with the classification of protista okay classification of protista okay so what is the classification this protista protista is classified into three major groups into three major groups protista is classified into three major groups okay they are they are photosynthetic okay 
first one is photo synthetic protists photosynthetic protists and the next one is protozoan protists protozoan protists okay and the third major group is saprophytic saprophytic protists saprophytic protists and by their name itself we can understand that what kind of nutrition they have okay what kind of what mode of nutrition they have for example here photosynthetic protists they may have what autotrophic mode of nutrition hence here the organisms may be autotrophs autotrophs okay organisms are autotrophs and here zoan okay the word means animal so protozoans are animal like so they have heterotrophic mode of nutrition hence they are heterotrophs heterotrophs okay autotrophs heterotrophs and this by this name itself we can know that they have saprophytic mode of nutrition that's why they are saprotrophs saprotrophs okay now if we see their mode of nutrition they are autotrophs autotrophic mode of nutrition okay so they are autotrophs heterotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophs and saprophytic mode of nutrition saprotrophs okay so here again this photosynthetic protists can be classified into three groups again three groups again so we will see that three groups here three groups now okay we will see three groups okay so based on the mode of nutrition again this organism can be classified into three groups classified into three groups so what are they they are chrysophyta chryso chrysophyta and pyrophyta pyrophyta and here euglenophyta euglenophyta based on the mode of nutrition they are again classified into three groups they are chrysophyta pyrophyta and euglenophyta so the word chryso okay the word chryso means golden it is golden chryso means golden and this in this group okay we are we are putting organisms like golden algae or the organisms like algae are placed under this chrysophyta okay golden algae chryso means golden okay so golden algae and algae why because algae they undergo what photosynthetic mode of nutrition that's why golden algae and if we see their mode of nutrition they are autotrophic okay autotrophic so this is in this we so this golden algae is placed under chrysophyta and if we see example example is diatoms okay organ organisms like diatoms are placed under chrysophyta okay the next one is pyrophyta the next group of organism is pyrophyta pyro word means fire okay pyro word means fire so here we will place pyro uh, fire algae fire algae and example if we take it is dino flagellate dino flagellate okay example is dino flagellate and fire algae they show bio illumination bio illumination bio illumination and by this word we can understand that okay they glow they glow okay they glow and that's why they glow because they have to undergo photosynthesis right photosynthesis that's why these organisms are okay they have the tendency like illumination okay so it is 
example here it is dino flagellate and the next one is known as euglino phyta by this name you can understand that what kind of organisms will be placed under this euglino phyta they are nothing but euglena euglena and this euglena becomes a connecting link between plants and animals it becomes a connecting link between plants and animals because this euglena shows certain characters like plants as well as and few characters like animals okay whenever there is sunlight they are going to undergo photosynthesis when there is no sunlight okay they are going to engulf the food particles so certain characters like plants and some characters like animals okay so there were so here there were three sub groups again three groups okay they are rhizophyta pyrophyta and euglenophyta based on the mode of nutrition we have divided them into three sub groups okay they are auto they are photosynthetic protists and here we will come across four groups again here three groups here four groups okay what is the first group here okay protozoan protist the first group of this protozoan protist here they are sarcodina sarcodina are also known as amoeboidal amoeboidal protists amoeboidal protists by the name itself you can understand that what kind of movement what kind of movement they show they show they use pseudopodia like structure for their movement so here the locomotive structure locomotive structure locomotive structure is nothing but pseudopodia pseudopodia okay pseudopodia and which organisms are placed under this they are amoeba okay they are amoeba and entamoeba amoeba and entamoeba example here we can place amoeba and entamoeba okay these are the two organisms which are placed under sarcodina or amoeboidal protist okay they show locomotive structure by pseudopodia and here after the further classification will be based on the locomotive structure okay locomotive structure so first one is sarcodina and after that based on the locomotive structure we we will have what ciliata okay ciliata are the organisms okay by this name you might be understanding that they use cilia for the locomotion so here here locomotive structure locomotive structure is cilia locomotive structure is cilia and if we see organism which organism will be placed under this okay they are example paramecium paramecium show the locomotion by cilia and they are placed under ciliata okay and the next the next group would be flagellate okay here flagellate i am shifting this saprophytic protist because there is no place saprophytic protists and they show saprophytic mode of nutrition so they are saprotrophs okay so the third classification will be or would be flagellates flagellates okay flagellates or okay flagellates here they are flagellata or zoo 
फ्लाजिलेटा फ्लाजिलेटा और जू फ्लाजिलेटा ओके हियर बाय दिस नेम यू माइट बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दे यूज द लोकोमोटिव स्ट्रक्चर नोन एज फ्लाजिला एंड लोकोमोटिव स्ट्रक्चर इज फ्लाजिला क्विक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच दे यूज फॉर देयर मूवमेंट दे आर फ्लाजिला राइट so an example of organism which will be placed under this zoo flagellata are example they are okay okay so here example okay i hope you are following and you might have written up this so i am arranging this so example of organism that is trypanosoma Trypanosoma is the organism which shows, which shows, which have, uh, them, by which they move is flagella. Okay, Trypanosoma uses flagella for the movement. And the fourth classification, and the fourth classification is sporozoans. They are sporozoans. Okay, here there is no, there is no locomotive structure. There is no locomotive structure. They would not. require any locomotive structure okay because they are endoparasites they are endoparasites they they are present inside our body isn't it so they are they don't have locomotive structure so no locomotive structure is found in this okay no locomotive structure and example what kind of organism plasmodium Okay, plasmodium, the malarial parasites are placed under this sporozoans. So, plasmodium. Here we saw three groups. Okay, three groups, and here we discussed about four groups: one, two, three, and four. And here, if we see saprophytic protists, saprophytic protists. Okay, here they have. they grow on dead and decay matter they grow on dead and decay matter and example of organism here is slime molds slime molds are the organisms that are grouped under saprophytic protists so in today's class we have learned about the brief classification of protista brief classification of protista and in next class we will discuss about the kingdom fungi